my path to becoming a trial attorney uh, was really a little serendipitous. I began as a physician. I practiced medicine. I was a pediatrician who worked for a major children's hospital. And when I finished my residency program, uh, I was thinking about uh, what to do with the rest of my career and whether I should subspecialize in some area of pediatrics. And I decided that what I really was interested in is in the legal field. And my original thought was that I would move into the area of healthcare administration and maybe someday become the CEO of a hospital or work in some regards within the field of medicine. After I uh, completed my education, my law school, and my pediatric residency, I then began practicing general pediatrics where I headed up a, an outpatient uh, physician practice. I also did some inpatient pediatrics. And at some point I just recognized that it really wasn't for me. My personality really didn't fit in with the pediatricians and I really had more of the personality of an attorney. I was a little more aggressive. I was not afraid of uh, controversy and, and taking on the higher ups. And I decided to make the transition into practicing law. I tell my clients that they need to be patient. Unfortunately, litigation takes a long time, much longer than really it should. Uh, and it's very difficult to people uh, to be patient because frequently they're injured, they have real needs, today, but there's no way to get them money until the case works its way through the system. So although settlements frequently do occur, those settlements often only occur after litigation is completed right on the verge of trial. That means it can literally be years between when a client comes to me and when there's eventually a recovery for them. So patience is really critical.